Hi, today we are in Belgium after the most epic comedy of errors trying to get here from Paris yesterday. It was like one thing after another insane train ride that we thought would be an hour and a half. We got in at about 1 a.m. Um, and thank you, thank you Eurostar for getting us here no matter what. Uh, <laughs> So um, Devin slept until noon. We got a very late start. Didn't get to Bruges as planned, but we did get married. And we got married in front of that giant atomie, it's called. It's, it's this humongous, gorgeous, glistening silver iron molecule skyscraper that is, uh, it looks like something out of Walt Disney's Disneyland, fantasy, future land, just enormous. So this is sort of like Belgium's Eiffel Tower. We're in Brussels with a childhood friend of Devon's named Pablo. They go back to 37 years ago and haven't seen each other in that long. And it's one of those kind of friendships where it's like no time has passed. So um, we had our wedding in front of this beautiful monument and alas we slept too late to go to the Magritte Museum or to go to the Grand Place and today tourism is just kind of getting to know friends and being in a private house uh, just outside of Brussels and seeing how the the Belgique live eating chocolate eating lots <laughs> of crazy good chocolate, having a wonderful time. And tomorrow, tomorrow we will go to Bruges because that's supposed to be really, really beautiful. And then we'll head back to France, to the south of France. So that's where we are. We are married 23 times. Every time is different. Sometimes they are insanely ornate castles and costumes and lots of people. But the thing is, is I always go in with no expectation. Really, really, I, and I've said it before and I'll keep saying it again, nothing matters except the two people saying vows. So when you see the videos, you'll see some of these are kind of silly, but they're still real. Meaning, I really don't care about the other stuff. Like, I love it. I love expressing love and experiencing love around the world. I love the people who share in this ritual with us. And we aren't doing it for anybody but us. So some of these weddings are just going to be among friends and seeing what happens and that's what it's supposed to be for us. Just we have a new experience every day. So we have a new promise to each other every single time. And when you watch these, you'll see. You'll see that they feel different, that we're saying different things. Because we, like, yesterday we had a really tough day. I lost my phone, or rather my phone I probably should have started the video saying this. My phone was pickpocketed at La Gare Nord, the big train station in Paris. That sucks. So now I'm going to be shooting everything on my computer. I am so dependent on my phone just, just for the map when I'm in a strange city. It's just tearing me up inside. I can't read books. I've become, I'm going to have to like pay attention to Devin. So um, are you making a face? Yeah, uh, that's life. His feet hurt, so today was really about giving his feet a break. My phone's gone. We had a really wild and woolly, really bizarre journey here from Paris. And in the end, it's all good. It's all good. We are surrounded by good people in a beautiful, new and different place. Focusing on relationship, our relationship, his relationship with his friend, and exchanging vows. And that's what today is about. So uh, 
Hello, welcome to six days, day, what, day six of 30 days of love. And we will see what Bruges brings. Wish I could shoot a video there. I might have to try out Devin's camera. And then off to Arla in the south of France, then Spain, then Portugal. We're actually starting to even flirt with the idea of coming up with an actual schedule. Imagine that. So, um, a bientôt. Talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye.